my view is that Hamas won the Gaza war decisively and conclusively. I will spend the next 10 minutes trying to substantiate this view. My name is Sam Vaknin and I'm a columnist in Brussels Morning. Hamas has decisively and unambiguously won the Iron Swords or Al-Aqsa Flood. The epithet depends on which side you are. <laughs> At any rate, it has won the war. There are 10 reasons to think this way. Number one, Hamas killed well over 2,000 Israelis out of a population of 10 million. Half of these were soldiers. The other half were raped, assaulted, massacred, and mutilated civilians. Number two, Hamas stopped dead in its tracks the emigration to Israel known as Aliyah, and it encouraged immigration by those who can from Israel, amounting to a debilitating brain drain. The confluence of these two facts created a sense of enormous uncertainty in Israel. People no longer feel safe. Hamas, the war against Hamas, halted foreign investments in Israel, especially in the bargaining high-tech sector. Number four, the war decimated the Israeli economy, plunging it into a massive contraction as defense-related spending climbs past the 5% of GDP mark. Israel's credit rating has already been downgraded and more is to come. The costs of the war hitherto are in the billions, with almost $1 billion spent in a single night to fend off an Iranian aerial attack with drones, crews, and ballistic missiles. Point number five, the issue of Palestine and the Palestinians has now become by far the most pressing item on the geopolitical agenda. A Palestinian state is just a question of time. It could serve as a launch pad for attacks on Israel, which would ultimately lead to Israel's demise as the sole Jewish state. Number six, the war and Hamas conclusively turned ill-informed, Jew-hating and virtue-signaling public opinion against Israel and against the Jews on both the woke left and the alt-right but also among the denizens of the mainstream, governed by a far-right, intransigent and dumb political leadership. Israel's blatant war crimes in the Gaza campaign have rendered it an overnight pariah state whose image in the West and even in the United States is far worse than China's, North Korea's and Russia's. Number seven, the conduct of the war drove a wedge between Israel and its only ally, the mission-critical United States of America. Consequently, Israelis have begun to seriously contemplate the end of Israel as a reality. Number eight, the prolonged operation in Gaza exposed Israel's army and much-hyped military prowess as propaganda paper tigers. Over the past few decades, the IDF has become glorified, a glorified militia with an air force. The younger generations are hedonistic and not keen on sacrifice. Budgets have been cut to the quick. Seven months in, the war is at a stalemate with crucial capabilities of Hamas still intact and half the hostages either dead or in, captiv in captivity. Point number, number nine and perhaps the most crucial one. Israel's internal cohesion is crumbled. There's no solidarity and no consensus anywhere to be found. The glue that held the improbable concoction that is the state of Israel has all but evaporated, exposing the irreconcilable fault lines in Israeli society. And finally, Israel and its leaders have ended up in the dock in multiple international courts 
accused of a, accused of a variety of crimes against humanity and war crimes. Even Hamas could not have hoped for a better outcome of its incursion into Israeli territory on October 7th, 2023.